is day number two. We finished up last night at CrossFit Mountain Grove, which was amazing. I think the little girls, they were so cute with their <laughs> little shirts on. That was one of my favorite, favorite moments. And then getting to meet their community and seeing Lauren and Steven, just an overall great experience in community. And so now we are on the road. What time do we leave? 7.30? 7:15, 7:30, around that time, we are driving about an hour and 15 minutes to Joplin, Missouri, to go to the Honey Badger CrossFit Gym, and then from there we will drive to Wichita, Kansas, which is like a three to three and a half hour drive, and go to that 5:30 p.m. class and find a coffee shop along the way. So here we go. Our last night because there were bad tornadoes, and so now we're just driving in the rain. Makes an hour feel about like two. <laughs> okay, we have made it to Joplin, Missouri, and we are at the Honey Badger CrossFit Gym. I am so excited to go in and see the class and be able to coach the 9.30 a.m. class, so let's get started. We just, well, we needed to stay here because my husband uh, was changing jobs, and we've moved all over. We were both in the Navy. Yep. And then we're like, we want to stay in this part of the town, and he couldn't find another job in his field, and so we started our own business and opened well, coffee. Well, no problem. Um, so, what's your favorite drink to make? To make? Yeah. I, I drink Americanos. Okay. So, Americanos with, with cream. Okay. With cream. <laughs> I, it's just a, it's a reason to drink half and half. Yeah. 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 I hear you. So, I hear you. No. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm excited. To see your shop. All, right. All right, so Honey Badger Store, I've been with it since the beginning. We used to be True Strength CrossFit, um, and then we turned into Honey Badger. We've been through three buildings, three different places. Uh, been with them ever since, about 10 years of this stuff now. I think I'm like the resident fit fat guy, I go. So, um, competed the entire time I've been doing this stuff and haven't quit since. Cool. Love it. Yeah, it's great time. What's up from Honey Badger Gym? Killing it. This is Bailey Real Christopher. She's going to be our guest coach today, so give her all the respect that you would not give me, okay? <laughs> give her actual respect and have fun, but let's have a good time and let's uh, get to warming up, all right? called Jackson Badgers. We do stuff for adaptive fitness, people with disabilities, special needs, all that kind of stuff. Um, these, are two, these are our shirts. I wanted to give you one of each. Thank you. These ones kind of run kind of small, so I grabbed a medium shirt. So, and then it's got all of our sponsors on the back, too. I love so, it. all that good stuff. Yeah. I love it. Super Nonprofit cool for? Jackson Badgers. For adaptive? Uh, adaptive fitness. Uh, we do things for people with special needs and disabilities. We have class four times a week, and we also do some kids' sessions every now and then. And well. you can find it at? Uh, you can find us on Instagram at Jackson Badgers. Uh, okay. Facebook is the same, and jacksonbadgers.org online. Love it. That is it for the Honey Badger CrossFit class. We coached class, ended up jumping in the class, and that was so much fun, and we just had a great time. So now we're off to Crazy Llama in Joplin, Missouri, so let's go see. So uh, we've been open, I guess, five, five, years? Five, five years now. Yeah. This is our second shop in Joplin. The other one's uh, up north in Webb City. So this is our first uh, brick and mortar that we actually built. So and this just opened last uh, November. And yeah. What's so, your specialty coffee? Uh, the Crazy Llama Mocha. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. It's a white mocha and, with caramel drizzle, and it's probably like 50% of the people get that. So. Okay, well, we're going to yeah. get one. So if you're in Joplin, Missouri, check out the Crazy Llama Coffee Shop or in Webb City, right? Yes. All right, and get the what drink? Crazy Llama. Get the Crazy Llama Coffee drink. Oh, wow. It's good stuff. Wow, that's really good. Oh, good. Grandparents' house. Oh, 
I'm glad you made it. How are you? <laughs> All right, well, we came to Grandma and Grandpa's house and they fed us some lunch. Thank you. It's always great coming to Grandma and Grandpa's house. <laughs> Gave us some food so we can go to CrossFit Compelled here in Wichita, Kansas. It's a 5.30 p.m. class, so we're gonna go coach the class, hang out with the community, and go see what it's all about, so let's go. Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh. You have no idea. These are in my cart really? right now. Yeah, I promise you, they're in my cart. Aww. Yeah, the same ones. Cause I, so the runners are my favorite. Yeah. And the rip stop is my favorite because they just fit. I like them. I got the you best. some fresh white. Oh my gosh. The white is in my cart right now. Good. Like, I'm so glad. Okay, so what's special about this stop is that my we're in Wichita, Kansas, and this is where some of my family is at. So we have my cousin Jessica, this is her gym, and then my grandma and grandpa came to just kind of watch everybody throw down and just be part of the community. So let's go say hi. This is Leo. This is Leo. This is my cousin Jessica and my grandpa and grandma. Hi. That we just we just came from their homes. This is massive it's awesome so cool instead of coaching this one we're actually gonna jump in and work out with them so I'm really excited about that we have uh, power queens and burpees about 25 minutes of it so we're gonna see if I'm still in shape <laughs> Okay, we just left Compelled Fitness in Wichita. We drove about an hour and 15 minutes to the ranch here in Hutchinson, Kansas. And now we're gonna go and go to sleep so we can go to Hutch CrossFit in the morning. Wichita, Kansas from Compelled Fitness. And that was just an amazing class getting to throw down with the community. So thank you guys so much for having me. Then we drove about an hour and 15 minutes to Hutchinson, Kansas, which is where, which is where some family lives. And so we are at the Rail Angus Ranch, my uncle's ranch and we're gonna feed some cows this morning. It's about 7.30, and we have the nine o'clock class at Hutch Fitness, but we're gonna hit some, we're gonna, we're gonna feed some cows first, right? Yeah, let's go. Uh -huh. Here you go, put those on, those are. Feed cattle this morning. I got my, I got my ranch hand Bailey with me. <laughs> <laughs> put your hat Thank down you. so it doesn't blow. On in there? Yeah, I got the tunes on. I can't move my head because it's head's a little bit. We got the tunes on. Right, what do we got in there? Down there? What are we feeding? Yeah. What are we feeding them? We're feeding distillers grain. It's over there in the side. Look at it. Push this here, and then you're gonna feed them these cubes. See there? <laughs> yeah. You can eat them. All it is out of out of, out of the ethanol plant. There at uh, corn uh, distillers. <laughs> It's just corn. Try it. Mm, breakfast. See? Pretty good, isn't it? Super. 
and actually get your tires off the ground. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, well, that's the stuff you tell your kids years after you can get by with telling them so they don't do it themselves. And... Road to school. You ready to go motorcycle? I rode my motorcycle to school, seventh grade. <laughs> it's where um, I'm pretty certain I was Alfalfa's house. <laughs> little guy, little rascal just had the Thing sticking up. Like the actual actor? Yeah. Oh yeah. These are boys. Home of alfalfa. These are boys. So this gym that we're going to right now used to be mom's, my mom's grade school, where she'd go to school. How old was she? It would have been, I think, third, fourth, fifth grade for sure. And then, then they'd go to the middle school after that. But we used to go to that gym. Me and my buddies, we'd. Um, picked the back lock thinking we were getting by with something. And the, I think the coach always knew that as long as we were playing basketball, we weren't getting in trouble. So they ignored us and we went in and picked the back lock and played basketball all day long. Okay, we're at Hutch Fitness. We're about to go inside and check it out and work out with the class. Maybe coach class today. We're not sure. We're gonna go check it out though. Would you be willing to sign my banner? I'd you? love to. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we just finished up at Hutch Fitness, and now we're going to go to our first coffee shop for the day. We got to work out with the class, and this guy got to work out with the class too. 
and we did a partner workout so that was fun getting to meet some of the members and then overall just had a great time a very very awesome community here in Hutchinson Kansas so if you're ever in the area stop by Hutch Fitness and now we're going to Metropolitan Coffee Metropolitan Coffee we see my other uh, grandma and aunt uncle some other family members and we're just excited to see them and have some coffee before we head to <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's okay about to have some Street. coffee before we head to Junction City which is about what an hour and 45 minutes away from here and then from there we're gonna go to Kansas City so we're on the road today a little bit but um. so he had his first autograph today and someone asked him to sign his ban his banner so we got that on phone. yeah Mikkel he asked dad to sign his banner so he's officially a legend <laughs> Did you guys come running in here? <laughs> Head case? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at Uncle Dick. Yeah, those are the, those are the fast ones. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going old school. Old school. I barely slept in. Well, yeah, we had a wear. Drinks coffee. <laughs> Drinks built back up on <laughs> Bailey, we're gonna wear these out to the Yeah, well, to like, give me this now. No, you're not. That's like you rude. How do I put this This is kind of soft. Well, huh? You know what's pretty nice if you had a wheel on you could see how yeah. far you go. We came from Hutch Fitness. We had coffee with family and then we drove about two hours to Junction City, Kansas. We are at Junction City CrossFit. We're gonna go inside, check it out, meet some community members, and hope to throw down with them. Maybe we'll coach a class, maybe we'll work out, we'll see. So let's go check it out. 100? Uh, of course Yeah. You so you can tap your butt to that ball and make sure you're getting there. Yeah. Truly, it's an honor just to be here. And kind of the reason why I am here is because I'm trying to just get back into the community and get back to the basics of what makes CrossFit amazing and that's what you guys and the members in the community. And so I just wanna go and visit gyms and kind of just see everybody and, and meet some awesome people. So I'm trying to hit 30 gyms in 30 days and you guys are my seventh stop. Yeah. I feel like I was waiting in a football. <laughs> So fun. That was cool. Their gym was awesome. They had a lot of different art mur murals. Is that how you pronounce it? Art murals. Um, that made the gym just really cool and their members were awesome. We got to do, I actually jumped into the class today. I really like to just work out with with the uh, the crew that's there and then um, got to just hang out after the workout and talk to a bunch of amazing people. So thank you Junction City for having us. We are now on the road to Kansas City. We have about a two hour drive. We're going to we're gonna um, stay there for the night and then we'll hit Cobra Command in the morning and then Garmin HQ. Well, the good news is my eyes aren't bloodshot this morning. <laughs> I look a little bit better. Um, but we drove about two hours to Kansas City, so now 
We came from Junction City, now we're in Kansas City. We're going to go to Cobra Command CrossFit today for the 9 a.m. class. Um, am I coaching this one or am I just working out? I think you're just working out today. Okay, we're just working out today, so we're gonna jump into the class, see the community at Cobra Command, and then we're gonna head to Garmin HQ, so let's go. Uh, nice dinner last night, but where'd we go? We had five guys, burger <laughs> and fries. I don't even think I taste it. <laughs> He literally looked up and my burger was gone. I was so hungry. And then we just, we wanted to eat something fast because we were so tired and we got back to the, we stayed at a hotel last night, so we didn't want to get there super late. So we grabbed something really quick, had five guys and then hit the road, so. Hampton rating last night, one, oh. 2.5. <laughs> we were so tired it didn't even matter though. That's okay. 2.5. 2 we're going to start rating the Hamptons. Okay, we're rating the Hamptons. That okay, was so a, this one in Kansas City, Missouri. It was a, it was a, when, you, when you pull up and the signs half burn out, it's not good. The outside looked really nice, though, so I was like, ah, it's probably just No, the, the sign was half out. That's yeah. a sign. We that that should have been the sign. Yeah, we should have definitely just went by the sign, but we were too tired. We were like, you know what, whatever. This one's going to start at 2.5. 2.5 is where we're starting. Only because the lady was nice when we yeah. went in. Yeah, the staff was nice. The staff was a five, so we gave it a shot. But we'll see. Where do we, we have an Airbnb tonight? Staff because was a 3.5 to four <laughs> because I was not offered water. <laughs> and when I went but, back out to get water, I had to pay for it yeah, after a long night. That's tough. A five, the lady would have got up and said, "Oh, here's a glass of water. Here, here's a bottle of water on the house." <laughs> because you're gonna be staying with us for the next 30 nights, actually 26 nights. <laughs> well, we have Airbnb because we're driving from Kansas City to St. Louis tonight. So the ratings will come back full circle next week. So we'll check back in. Cobra Command CrossFit. Let's go check it out. Thank you so much for all that you do for the, for the community and um, ultimately just thank you so much for us. Spider-Man lunge, caterpillars, we're learning all kinds of stuff around here. <laughs> Down, 1,000, 2,000, 3. Lunging and ring muscle ups. And before we did deadlifts and strict press. And what did you hit for your deadlift? <sighs> <laughs> Lots of weight. His friend, he made a new friend. And yeah. he calls him Rambo. He said you need you, you need a red bandana. Red bandana? Yeah. Yeah. I like the recovery Man walk. Friend. Recovery walk, best part. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good job. One, two, three, welcome! Thank you. Rich Froney wanted me to give you guys this flag for your gym that he signed just to say thank you so much for all that you guys do. Aww. Sweet! Thank you so much for all you guys do for the community. Rambo. <laughs> You're getting all the way up there. You just gotta commit to that. Who's first? I got that so first close. one? Yeah. And then I think I overset the second one. Yeah. And it's <laughs> mental. Uh, 57, 55, 59. Uh, 18 through 18. Same time as the individuals. Yeah. Okay. Is anybody else doing the class? Heck yeah. yeah. You're not going to do it then? Let's get there. Two more. He's going to do it. You're hours, too competitive. Yeah. We'll see. I feel like we'll see. Yeah, you're going to say you don't, yeah, and then the day if we're going to work out, you're going to be like, oh, okay, I'm going to do it. Okay, so freaking cute. Look at this. It's my next. Oh wow! This is Individual. so cute. Oh, they said there were. I thought you, a girly, oh, okay. like the yellows. The I love that. Maybe like part of that. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, so I was standing in front of the class today and I was talking and telling them thank you for for coming and allowing me to come and work out with them. And she, this is Peyton. Hi. This is my new friend. <laughs> see her little. See her wrist. She, she had this up while I was talking and it was just like a red light went off and I was like, oh, she's got it. <laughs> she's got a cute little bracelet on 
And then she made me this bracelet. But you can see it. You probably can't see it. <laughs> but anyways, we just figured out that I had seen this bracelet before. Let's see it. So cute. <laughs> and one of my best friends actually made that. So she ordered it from her and we didn't even know and this connection has been made. So she's the new yep. part of this bracelet. <laughs> Girl gang. And her name's Peyton, which is my sister's name, so it all makes sense. So besties. Besties for the rest. <laughs> okay, so we just finished at Cobra Command and that was an awesome class. Dad made a new friend, a new training partner. <laughs> Called him Rambo. And I made a new friend too. Mm -hmm. Actually, I made a bunch of new friends, but this one in particular, she made me a bracelet and that is just so special to me and that was really, really fun. And the whole class was awesome. They had a gym dog, which any gym that has a gym dog is my kind of gym. Their owners were amazing, the coach was amazing, the community was amazing. Really, if you are ever in the Kansas City area, go to Cobra Command because they do it right. And they have this awesome sticker make America fit again. Let's see if we can focus it in. And Jill put us through the ringer. Jill put us through the ringer. She was an awesome coach. That is one thing that I'm very impressed with at all of these gyms. Amazing. And I think CrossFit should go and do, and maybe they already do, but go and see some of these gyms. And these coaches are amazing. Like I'm just sitting there like, man, these coaches are so good at this craft and I'm just very impressed. Especially, I took the level one a couple of months ago and these coaches are withholding that standard and that's just really really cool to see so we are off to garmin hq we have about a 20 minute drive so we're going to hit a coffee shop they told us to go to third space so we're going to go hit this coffee shop probably grab a breakfast burrito and grab a coffee and then we're going to go coach two classes for the garmin employees on the basketball court so let's do it Okay, we just made it to this coffee shop called Third Space Coffee. It's in the downtown area and it looks so cute. So I think we're gonna get a coffee and a breakfast burrito. So let's go check it out and see what it's like. What would you like from the deli today? We have um, muffins. We have a little coffee cake. Yep. Lucky here. No, those are raisin chocolate chip. Yeah, I got the train wreck. You ordered the coffee, I don't know what it is. <laughs> wow. It's freaking good. So we're at, that's, that's, a a, that's a big score. That means if I gave it a 10, then that means my sister would probably give it, she'd probably give it a 10 too. And if she gives it a 10, then that means it's a 10. And there's no? No melted honey in the bottle. No so I saute with oat milk and honey. Make sure the honey's melted and you won't regret it. It's going to be a train wreck. <laughs> wow. Okay, coffee and burrito, 11 out of 10. So good. If you're in Kansas City, we're in Kansas City, right? Yes. Kansas City, third <laughs> space coffee. So good in a little downtown area. It was I loved it. I love a good coffee shop. And so now we're headed to Garmin HQ. We've got a couple of classes to coach there and then we're off to St. Louis. I'd say this might be one of the bigger gyms. Yeah, big. <laughs> I searched the world, but it couldn't fill me. Man's empty praise and treasures that fail.
Garmin HQ and that was awesome. We had a lot of people so we did a fun little workout on the basketball gym floor and now we're gonna eat some lunch at Chipotle and then go back for the 410. I'm gonna run a class there and then we're gonna head to St. Louis. My fingers and flows, Lord, you've seen them all, and you still call me friend. Cause the God of the mountain is the God. Of okay, that's it for Garmin HQ. We got to coach a couple of classes, have some lunch with some of our friends here at Garmin, and then now we are headed to St. Louis. We have about a four hour drive and then we're going to go to Eureka CrossFit and then First Form HQ. So we're back on the road. We get to stay at an Airbnb this time and see some family so I'm excited for that. But we're back to it, back on the road, here we go.